We have some positive news for individuals suffering from AIDS, a condition caused by HIV. Currently, no cure or vaccine is available, so patients typically need daily pills to manage and suppress the virus in their bloodstream. However, a groundbreaking development comes in the form of Cabinova injection, recently approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. This innovative medication allows patients to transition from a daily pill regimen to a more convenient once-a-month injection. Guess what? There's some fantastic news for those suffering from HIV AIDS. So, this Cabinova injection only needs to be given once a month, like every four weeks. Way better than taking antiretroviral pills every single day, right? And get this, the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, NIAID, back it up in a study, confirming how this game changer is making life a whole lot easier and effective for those dealing with HIV AIDS. Awesome, certainly. Delving into the scientific intricacies of Cabinova injections and their treatment mechanism for individuals with AIDS is quite fascinating. This injectable medication comprises two active ingredients, namely cavity graver and ropivirine, strategically designed to exert prolonged therapeutic effects within the human body. The beauty of Cabinova lies in seamlessly incorporating these proven elements into a slow-release injectable form, ensuring an extended duration of action for enhanced therapeutic outcomes. You may like to know how the Cabinova inhibits viruses from causing infections. HIV has an envelope with GP120 protein on its surface. It interacts with the cell to be infected and transfers its genetic material, ribonucleic acid, inside the cell. This ribonucleic acid, or RNA, must be transformed into deoxyribonucleic acid by reverse transcriptase enzyme for further virus production and integration into the cells. Rilpivirin in the Cabinova injection functions as a non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor, disrupting the reverse transcriptase activity and halting the virus's replication. If the virus survives this step, the cavity graver is the second component of the Cabinova injections. It operates as an integrase strand transfer inhibitor, effectively preventing the integration of viral DNA into human T or other cells being infected by HIV. Clinical trials show that slow-release component of the Cabinova injections continue to work for more than four weeks. In the scientific realm, it's essential to note that Cabinova is most beneficial for patients whose viral load is already effectively suppressed in their bloodstream. This suppression is intricately tied to the ongoing daily administration of antiretroviral treatment. In simpler terms, Cabinova works best for individuals who have successfully kept the virus under control through continuous use of antiretroviral medications. So, if you've been diligently managing that viral load, this could be a significant game changer for you. The latest information from the Latitude Phase 3 interim trial revealed that Cabinova, a long-acting injectable treatment for HIV, that's cavity graver plus ropivirin, it turns out that it's rocking better efficacy than your daily therapy, especially for folks dealing with adherence challenges in their HIV journey. Science meets convenience, and Cabinova seems to be acing the game. In simplistic terms, it's essential to bear in mind that HIV primarily spreads through specific routes. The most important is sexual transmission, mainly if one of the partners involved is infected with the virus. Another significant avenue is the sharing of injection needles among drug users. Always remember, prevention is better than treatment in the case of AIDS-causing virus. HIV mainly spreads through sex, especially if one partner has the virus, and also when drug users share needles. It's crucial info to keep in mind when talking about how HIV gets transmitted. Stay informed and take care. Thank you for watching this video. We appreciate you for your comments and request for subscribing to Biomed Global.